think, um, I mean, his time in Columbus has only just allowed him to, to become more mature as a professional um, on and off the field. I think his stint over there initially, he was a young kid um, finding his way through um, just confidence and, and getting to understand what it means to be a professional in this time in Columbus. I think he found found his feet and understands um, who he is as a professional and who he is as a player, and I think he's going to be poised to do an amazing job. On the same note, like seeing him getting his farewell last weekend, yeah. was that emotional for you, having been with him for a few years and also with you teams and stuff? Absolutely. Um, I mean, he's one of not only just a great teammate, but a good friend of mine as well. So uh, his uh, his impact on the club, you could, you could feel it and see it. Um, on Saturday night, and I mean, for us in the locker room, you, you know he's going to be sweating missed. Well, some of your thoughts on, 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 on this team changing gears a little bit. Um, there's obviously a lot of, of young talent, the midsection player, 25, 26, and then some of the veterans like Josie, Michael, Omar. Mm -hmm. Just your thoughts on what could be considered one of the most complete U.S. squads uh, in, in, in some time? Yeah, I, I think they've done an excellent job of identifying players that have already had a massive impact on, on the program, um, as well as bringing guys that um, are, are just starting out and, and as well as those mid-tier mid guys. So the uh, the culmination of this whole group, I think, has been been put together in a good way and, and in a smart way where it's, it's rounded out and complete in a lot of ways. So that uh, that gives us a lot of confidence, I think. I think it, it, it provides experience, but youth and excitement, um, which you want in a team. Heading into the first official competition under Greg has the first few days of this camp been significantly different than the first few days of the other other camps well I think it's a little tricky right now because of where we're at I mean guys that played on the weekend are just rolling in guys that play overseas are, are getting fit again right. kind of thing so it, it is an interesting time in terms of getting everyone on the same page um, but for the most part the way the staff approaches it uh, is so professional so organized and I think every time we step on the field no matter who's on the field, you're going to be prepared. Have these last two days been more like a review of, of ground cover before, or is he throwing some new stuff at you already? Uh, I think a, a lot of it is review, um, but there's always new wrinkles, especially in friendly games before the tournament, that you want to try things out and, and, and experience um, how a team adapts in, in something different. But obviously the opponents we're going to be playing are, are going to be similar to the teams we'll play in the tournament. Um, Jamaica being a very athletic counterattacking um, fast team similar to like a Trinidad in a lot of ways so um, you can you can experiment a little bit in these games having had Greg as a club coach have you seen him grow at all like now that he's with the national team and, and change at all over the you know six months or so that he's had this job sure I think um, what you're seeing is he was you always knew the quality of coach that he was um, and and his excitement and passion for the game but now you're seeing it taken to I think another level in terms of the resources at his disposal and, and, and what he can um, glean from other coaches being now at a higher position. And, and that's only going to make him better and ultimately make the team better.